Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're giving you a beginner guide to Cricut Design Space. I am so excited to share with you guys this video because it is a must watch video for anyone that is a beginner with a Cricut and especially Cricut Design Space. It is something super overwhelming, so I want you guys just to sit back, relax, and just take some information in on the website without having to think about it too much. This is gonna be a perfect first video for you guys that may be thinking about getting a Cricut and want to understand the software or you may have just got a Cricut and you're ready to master everything about it but I do want to take a second to say if you are new to a Cricut if you have a Cricut maker or you are just needing to understand design space better we have a special offer for you guys in the links below we have an e-course with 30 videos teaching you exactly how to use your Cricut and design space it is a perfect course that people are able to really um, pick what they are needing and watch those in particular videos it's something that is all outlined there together and we give it to you all in one bundle right after you purchase you get instant access and I'm super excited to share with you this introduction so if you have any questions leave them down below if you're new here give the video a thumbs up subscribe for more videos and we cannot wait to see what you make with your Cricut so let's get started so to get started, since Design Space 3 is super new and everyone, I've got a lot of messages saying, hey Tanner, I'm switching from Silhouette. Hey Tanner, I've not worked in Cricut in a while. Hey Tanner, I'm switching from a expression machine. There's so many different people converting over and I am super excited about it. So I thought this would be a great way to start off by giving an overview of Design Space 3. There are some really cool changes in Design Space 3 and I am super excited to share them with you today and just give you an overview of how the new site works, how everything is laid out. There are some really cool changes but overall I think everyone's going to be able to see how amazing and how simplistic the new software is and how it's actually a lot more usable and functional compared to Design Space 2. Um, for example, when you go to design.cricket.com, um, this is what we're looking at right now. I'm actually already logged in, but if you're not logged in, it will prompt you to go ahead and log in. And this is an account that I'm using just for our awesome e-course, so there's not many projects in here, but now you're able to visualize your projects where before you only could see the names and different things like that, so you couldn't actually see um, what what is this project actually. So I love that they showcase that firsthand. And then as you scroll, you can see featured projects, you can see Cricut Maker sewing projects who are super excited for all of the simplicity patterns. I know I am. Um, featured artist, what's new in Cricut Access, take a sip with some different types of projects, summer loving, fun with vinyl. These actually change out, but this is an amazing hub for anything if you're super excited to get crafting with your Cricut and are looking for some inspiration. I highly recommend you popping in here. As you can see, you're able to click on any of these projects and um, they're all Make It Now projects. So you're able to see the inspiration of this project. You're able to read everything you need to do with this. So it gives you a description. It gives you materials you're going to need that are Cricut related and everything else. Um, so for example, you would need a modern wood chair. You would need transfer tape. It tells you how to prepare for your project, how to cut it and then assemble it. So it shares with you what type of images and fonts are used in the project if you need to purchase any. Um, if you're in access, you do get this project. So you can go ahead and click make it if you don't wanna change anything. So if you click make it, it's going to go ahead and set everything up. Go ahead and take you to the map portion. So everything's already laid out. It's going to show the four maps that you're going to want to prepare and the colors um, if you're creating the actual make it now project. But you may be saying, Tanner, I love this pattern. I want to use this, but I want to use it in a totally different way. I just want the design. That's when you're able to click customize and all of the project is going to pop up into design space. So this is what you're familiar working with. We can take these and move it around. If we only want this design, we're able to take this and delete all of the other ones you know, really easily. And then you can work in just this design. And oh my gosh, could you guys imagine reading this? Oh, this would be like a day project for me. <laughs> but anyway, so we're going to X out of that. We're just going to replace. 
So we're just going to go back to the home page. So as you can see here, it's super, super simple. Um, tons of inspiration, and if you all remember on YouTube Live, we made these awesome coasters. So anyway, let's go on over and click Canvas. So this is Design Space. It still has our projects loaded in there. It's really nice if you're going around the website and forget to save a project. Um, all you want to do is click Save and or Save As. Obviously, this is a public project, so something that Cricut has provided us. Um, I don't really need to save it, so we're just going to press New. And this is going to give us a new canvas where we're able to design and create different things. So let's jump into it. And as you can see, Design Space 3 from this standpoint is really simplistic. And I love it because it's a lot more usable. Um, so starting over on the left hand sidebar, you have this where you're able to, you know, set up your new machine, print and cut calibration, like all of those important things. But you also have the new button. So every time you press new, a new canvas will appear. Um, projects is almost like the home page where you're able to see all kinds of different Make It Now projects and different things from their partners like Simplicity. Um, what I love is that you're able to come over here and look via categories. So if you want to see what projects are free for Cricut Maker users, if you've been able to link your Cricut Maker, these are your free projects. I love that. Um, you know, if you have the Air 2, you're able to click here and see what those projects are. Super awesome. And you're able to go through and just look at Cricut Access. So if you just got Cricut Access or you've had it and you want to see what type of special projects you're able to create right out of the gates, that's awesome for you. Um, you know, maybe you just got an easy press and you're really excited for Iron On. This section right here is perfect for you. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this project. Let's just take a moment because I love this little trick or tree. I think that'd be awesome. Anyway, we could spend a whole day just browsing through, giving some commentary on different types of projects. Um, but you know, what I love about this is that yes, we're an iron on, but let's say we want to do something for birthday. Let's see if they have any iron on that is birthday related. And they do. They're able to see that there's a birthday girl shirt and a happy birthday sign that you're able to create really easily, which I am really impressed with. So that's sort of how you're going to be able to search through all of the Cricut um, catalogs of projects if you're used to using cartridges or you're used to just only having to rely on your own um, designs. Now you're able to use all of these if you're part of Cricut Access and there's a lot of free ones too. So be on the lookout for what projects are free and different things like that. So as we continue on down, now you're able to see more images from Cricut. And if you notice, these images are more standalone images. These are not, um, you know, actual complete projects. These are more things that you could use on a card or a scrapbook page, or you could use this for vinyl decals, all kinds of things like that. So super easy and super simple. Um, what I love is that, you know, Cricut Access has a ton of images. So like, for example, if you wanted to go ahead and cut out this pilgrim hat, all you do is click on it and insert image. And if you know that you want to cut this out, this is how easy Cricut's made, made it for you. So you say you want to cut it out with a width of 4.0 and then press enter. It's going to scale the other side because we have it locked right here. You can unlock this and you're going to be able to move it the height and the width however you want. I recommend leaving this locked just so you don't mess up the dimensions of any of your projects. In some cases you will want to be able to unlock that. So when you press the unlock button you notice that right here turns green and when you have it locked it's going to be um, blue and just look like you can move it up and down and it scales to size for you which I absolutely love. So now you're thinking okay Tanner I want to be able to cut this out, but I don't know what to do. Do I have to ungroup these? Like, how does that work? No. So with these images, if you are happy with everything how it is, you pick the size you want, and then you're able to just go up here and click Make It, and it's going to sort all of your different mats right here for you. So it shares with you exactly what you need to do. You're going to need five different colors. 
of mats with the different cardstock on here and it's going to cut this out for you and you're able to build your pilgrim hat really sim simply. So I love that. Um, what I also love is you're, if you're making a lot of them, say you're going to do some Thanksgiving projects or something and you need 20 of them. It's going to prepare 20 of these on a mat for you and you can see here without even thinking about it, it has all of these laid out for you. So if you're making a lot of Christmas cards and different things like that, you're going to be able to use your Cricut to streamline a lot of your processes. Um, so I really like that for all of the productivity levels and everything like that, how Cricut's made it. We don't even have to worry about it. So we're just gonna delete that by selecting it and pressing delete, super easy, right? Um, now let's go over to text. So text is one of the biggest things I use in design space because I'm able to create my own types of images and use all kinds of different fonts. And let's just do, hmm, let's do Happy Halloween. So I'm going to do Happy Halloween in all caps. A lot of the times when I'm doing different types of projects, I always do capital letters, um, just because I really love the look of capital letters, and it kind of makes me feel like I'm just sort of screaming at them in a, a very happy way. So anyway, now you're looking at fonts. So what we're going to do, if you don't want to use this boring basic font, which who would, right? You click on it, and I'm just going to select all by pressing Command A, and that's going to select all of the images, and we're going to go up to fonts, and that was Cricut Sans. And you can scroll through, and this is under the category All. So just like with in our projects and images, we can search through fonts as well. You can search through just your system fonts, the fonts that are on your computer, or you can look through just the Cricut fonts. So as you can see here, there's a, quite a bit of different fonts, and I love them. So let's look through All, and let's see, um, you know, we can search through here. Let's try to find some type of font that would be really great for Halloween or something like that. Um, I don't really know how many there are on here uh, that are more spooky, but you can sort of find one that you like. So right here, I think we'll just use this one right here. So it's a pretty simplistic Happy Halloween font, and you're able to scale this up and down and sort of decide how you want it. And you're maybe like, okay, I want the Halloween down. So all you're going to want to do is select where you want it to go down to the next line and press enter and then you're able to highlight both of these and be able to center it up so alignment and you're able to press center so now it's happy halloween all in one and then you may be unhappy with the letter spacing so what you're able to do is go up to letter space and bring these letters actually closer together so what this can do is make it where it's going to be able to be actually each word could be one actual image where you're not having to worry about all of them it being individual letters. They're all one. So you can bring that closer together. And a lot of the times when this happens, they turn into looking like different fonts. So you can sort of see you're able to space the letters out as much or as little as you would want, um, it's honestly up to you. So another thing is line space. I never really like how far apart they make these. So you can make the line space go down and you can bring these together, which I really like. So now they're a lot closer together. You can do a lot of different things with that. Um, a good thing to note is if you watch older videos on Design Space 2, you're going to realize that this all right here used to be tucked away. So having it right here for us is amazing. I am really appreciative of that. So as always, you're going to have your text. You're able to use your own fonts um, and different things like that. So now we are able to do this. We're just going to delete this. And now under text, you're going to find shapes. There are so many basic shapes you're able to use in Design Space 3 or in any design space to create really awesome projects. So you can just click on whatever shape you need. You can delete it out. You can add a triangle and be able to use these to create all kinds of fun stuff. 
Now let's go over to upload. You're able to go through and click upload. You can see images that you've recently uploaded. You can click upload new image. We're going to do a whole video on uploading images from the internet and different things like that um, for personal use, but you're able to go through, upload those, and you can see some of your recently uploaded images. We use monogram generators quite a bit, so you're able to go through and upload your own monogram um, and size that just how you would like it. And then you're able to go through and quickly cut it out with your vinyl decals and everything like that. If you're, you're using an iron on, you would size it to the size you want. Then you would go in and click make it. And then, you know, obviously you'd want to make sure that you mirror it because you're using iron on. And we do not want 20 copies of this. So we're just going to select one. <laughs> and then we're able to continue. And now it, I'm not connected to a Cricut, so it's not going to show that it's connected but that's just a really simple way of using images that you have created um, to quickly cut them out for iron-on purposes and anything like that so guys this is a really quick overview of design space 3